Hey Red Cedars, Pastor Adam, just wanted to touch base with you once again uh, as we continue on our prayer challenge. We're just kicking off the week. I wanted to spend some time today talking about shifting our focus and making that our prayer today, that our perspectives would change, that, that as we pray through some of these things together and we start to experience um, God in a new way, that we, would, that we would begin to take our focus once again this week off of what's going on in our life off of how this is affecting me and my family. All important stuff, and we need to be thinking through that stuff. We need to be preparing for our families and taking care of our families and, and focused on our families and our circumstance, but we also need to make sure that we're focusing and shifting that focus off of our life and onto the life that God has planned. Our, our, our uh, vision as a church and our focus is John 10, 10, where, where we talk about God coming, Jesus coming and offering us a full life, and there's Full life is not a, a, a self-centered, focused life on ourselves. It's focused on Christ, focused on what He wants to see happen. And so we, want, we need to shift that focus, not just in times like this, but maybe especially in times like this, because the, the, the idea, the focus in, ends up coming back on ourselves so much. So we're gonna pray today. We're gonna ask God to just kind of shift our focus to kind of bring, bring His life and His desires into focus in our own eyes and in our own hearts. And then we're gonna um, we're gonna pray through Psalm 91 like we've always been doing. So um, grab your Bible, grab your U version app, pull it up. I'm gonna go ahead and pray for us real quick. Jesus, we love you. We worship you. We give you glory and honor for who you are, for what you're doing. We believe that you are God in this circumstance, in this time. Lord, I pray that you would help us to see this circumstance, this situation, through your eyes, in the way that you see it. That we would be a church that. Would, would not be focused inward, but that would be focused outward and looking at the needs in the world of the situations that are going on around us. That we wouldn't just focus on our own lives and our own situations and how this affects us, but how you see the world and how you want us to see the world. Lord, I pray that you'd help us to experience a full life in you. And that full life is a life that is shared with others, not just um, focused on ourselves. And we just pray for that. We pray that you would help us to shift that focus today. Pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Psalm 91. You guys ready to, to wrap up today with this? All right, let's read it together. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust Him. For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with His feathers. He will shelter you with His wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. It doesn't mean you're not going to experience hard times or evil things. It just says that it's not going to conquer you. Remember that. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with your hand, with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. I will call on, uh, if, when they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. And Lord, we love you today and we worship you. We just want to pray these words back to you. Lord, we stand on your promises today. Protect us. Be with us in this time of trouble. Guard our hearts. We love you, Jesus. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. All right, guys, today, don't forget, shift your focus. Put it on him. Have a good day.